then Timothy Cherry, and isn't it great to see the former world champion back in great form? He's actually the quickest in the world so far this year. Kassir, fresh from that big 5,000 victory in Florence a couple of weeks ago. The Goose did his best to chase Inga Britson home in Rabat, but wasn't able to hang on, despite, I'm sure, the hopes of lots of people in the USA. Josh Kerr, Olympic medalist in 1500, with Ollie Hall, Commonwealth champion, who had such a great 2022. Habs, who continues to get better. New personal best in that wonderful 800 in Paris. Neil Gooley of Great Britain. I think he's going to go really well here tonight. An incredible season indoors. Carrying that outdoors already. He's been getting ready for this in Belgium, he said. And what about Dordas? 332 this year. The Ingebrigtsen and brothers have left, but Dad is still coaching, and he's coaching Nordas, and he's doing a great job with him. He's been in that group for a long time, he said, but now Geert has got his attention just on me. The boys have moved to Henrik is coaching uh, Philip and Jacob. So, Nordas, could he give uh, the Norwegians something else to cheer here? But all of their hopes, all of their aspirations will be with Inga Britson. How quick can he go? So men's 1500 gets underway. 25 years ago, Hisham El Garouj, almost to the month, broke the world record in Rome. That's 326 flat. Some have come close. And I'm sure we're heading for something under 3.30 tonight. He's been brushing away talk of world records. He said, I need to keep winning. I need to keep getting stronger. And there's a long season ahead. But after that performance over two miles last week in Paris, so many people are looking at him thinking, well, I wonder, I wonder if, is this the night in front of his home crowd? Well, they're certainly going to go to pretty quick pace, and he definitely has a big field. And I think that's going to be more the worry for him. He's got an exceptional field to beat here tonight. Yes, he has. He said, first and foremost, I want to just win the race, but there's a quiet confidence and uh, don't write anything off when it comes to Jakob Ingebrigtsen. Looking forward to seeing the Goose as well, the American who's just behind him, who had a real go last time out, first time they'd met, and he came up well short. Well, they're all going to follow him. They'll all watch him. Chariot, in particular, is running really well again. And is strong enough to hang on to the good pace you feel sure he doesn't have to take it out the days he used to do that we know how quick ollie hall could go the british athletes josh kerr neil gooley neil gooley in particular just sat off the pace a little bit that might be a wise move given how quick they're going and it is fast those lights there are there for the pacemaker the green ones are meant to be for inga britson to run 329 but he'll want to keep ahead of them if he can i'm sure well, without tempting fate, Hisham El Garouj's first 400 was 54.30 when he set that world record, and they're not far off that pace at this stage. Inga Britson looking good. Coming around to 800 metres, just watch the clock here. They were wanting something around about 152. That's not bad at all. That sets it up, but he's blowing hard as Inga Britson. He did say to me the other day on Tuesday, I've still got a little bit of those two miles in my legs. So... He's going to have to work really hard here. Katir sitting right there, Chariot on the inside. Others are just starting to queue and push and shove. Naguse Hall looking for a bit of room there. Habs isn't too far away, just tucked on the curb. And the gaps are starting to appear, though. The pacemaker doing a brilliant job for Inga Britson, setting it up nicely. He's got them stretched. Well, the crowd rising. They sense there could be something very special on here. Katir is still in contention. Naguse working very hard. Ollie Hall's there at the bell. Josh Kerr of Great Britain in the yellow moving up as well. Gurley just a little bit behind him. Garcia of Spain having a great race as well. But it's Inga Britson with Katir gritting his teeth, hanging on. Katir can finish. He's a great 5,000 metre runner, but he's a wonderful 1,500 metre runner as well. And chased the two men home at the World Championships last year, Inga Britson and Whiteman. And Chariot is too far back, or is he at the moment? 200 to go. He's not going to let up here. He's keeping the pressure on. The crowd hoping that their man can deliver. And it looks as though the only threat's going to come from Katir. Inga Britson into the home straight, in the lead there to be caught or can he pull away and here he goes the crowd are on their feet here's their man Inga Britson is going to do it again in front of his home crowd it's going to be under 330 sensational 3795 fast times behind him the crowd don't care they love to see great races but this was all they wanted 
Jacob Ritson taking the win in a wonderful performance for him, moves him right up the world list there. Ahead of Chariot now, ahead of Nien. He continues to get better, but now he will have to answer the questions about the world record. Because he said it was a bit of a leap, it's a bit too far. But now he's close enough to start to genuinely think about it. Six on the all-time list. I think it's more that it's 327, it's not a 328. It's got that seven there, next time it's a six. Fast times, as I said, behind one or two area records as well. That's 329.02 for the American. That is a new American record. Cherry under 330 again. Garcia under 330. The other Spaniards have gone quicker than him, of course. Ollie Hall under 330. We'll give you all of that in a second. And by the way, there's another Norwegian just run under 3.30 further down the field, Chris. Not Not us. Yeah, you mentioned him. You were right to mention him at the start of the race. What a good job Inge Britson Senior is doing. But look at the facial expression there of Jakob Inge Britson. He knows Katir is there. He is flat out. All those threshold runs, the double thresholds that we've been hearing and telling you about, you wouldn't know it. And look at that. There's the celebration and the psychological benefit of seeing... 327 something it's sub 328 for the first time but he looks so effortless and he isn't it's hard work it hurts it's meant to but he delivers and he looks so comfortable under such pressure do you know what I love there's nothing better than when athletes surprise themselves now this guy sets high standards but I think he surprised himself tonight I think you can see from the celebration you can see from the little shake of the head to wow he ran a two mile an incredible two mile world record just six days ago